Hi guys, Tom here from Bike Review and look, we're here today with the developer preview for Android N, which might be Nutella, um, uh, it might be something completely else, but that's the rumor at the moment. We were stuck with the same Easter egg there as well, which is fine for now. So the, probably the most exciting new feature is the multitasking. So when you uh, go into your, your recent apps drawer, you've actually got a option to multitask and to do that, um, all you do is grab one app, say for instance Twitter, and you drag it up to the top and that kind of puts it in the first one and then you can pick another app to put it underneath. Um, for instance, if we get Chrome underneath, there we go, just tap it, um, then you've got basically two things running at the same time. Now um, this might not seem overly useful uh, for phones, but it's actually really really good if you had a tablet I would imagine. So another cool addition of the multitasking as well is you can actually pop it on its side and then you get both of them up there. Like I said before, that's probably a bit more useful for tablets um, than it is for phones, but um, it's cool that they can both run, which is really nice actually. Um, so that's another feature of there, and if you switch it back up, then it does just zoom back around like that. So yeah, again, another useful feature of um, the multitasking there, which is really nice. Some apps like that one, for instance, don't work, and it'll just boot you straight back into the full one. But like I say, it is, it's developer at the moment, so that might change. Another interesting feature of the app uh, switching and the app, all that sort of stuff, if you double tap your icon, your multitasker there, you can actually switch to to and from your most recent apps, which is quite useful. I found that one actually by mistake, just by accidentally double tapping. Um, so that one's quite nice and useful. Um, another interesting feature as well is, it's not one I can easily show you, but um, I'll pull down the battery, is uh, Doze. And now Doze was a new feature in Marshmallow, it basically saved a lot of battery life when you weren't using the phone, it kind of shut loads of stuff down, but the phone had to be dead still for it to happen, so the motion sensor didn't have to go off and all that sort of thing. Um, now that happens even if it's in your pocket, so you should get back, uh, a lot better standby time out of your device, which is always really useful. Um, I found it great in Marshmallow, so anything good in N will be uh, very nice. The notifications are also pretty feature-packed and dense as well. If you've got lots of WhatsApps going on, you can pull down and see each individual one. It's actually almost to the point of being a, a little bit distracting probably. You can see all your different emails if you've got some. And here's another example of a quick reply. That's for a, a Twitter direct message. That gets rid of that straight away. And these extend to the lock screen as well. So if you've got them on the lock screen there, you can actually see it all, which is actually quite a lot. Getting lots of emails now and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it. And it's quite, I, like, I quite like it. I think it's, I think it's a bit mental at the moment, but they should tone it down a little bit at least. Another thing that's changed as well is the quick actions at the top, which now are load smaller. Um, you can still pull them down and you get all your options there, but you've also got this little edit button here. If you press that, you can pull up um, other ones that you can add if you want to drag to add tiles, for instance, aeroplane mode. Um, you can pop that in there or you can pull other ones out. Um, so that's quite nice as well. You actually get two pages if you've got plenty of them as well. Um, so that's a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure if I like it yet, but uh, yeah, there you go. The settings menu's actually also got a bit more complex as well. You've got your settings like normal, but then you can pull over from the left here and actually get more settings if this screen wasn't enough for you. Uh, one of the interesting new uh, features on the settings is one called uh, Data Saver. Uh, now, Data Saver basically lets you select an app and restrict how much data it uses up. So for instance, Facebook sometimes can use up a load of data, but if you go to uh, Data Saver, you can actually limit the amount of stuff it lets you use. And I guess my already my favorite new feature, even though it's not really a new feature, is the app drawers still here, hooray. There was rumors that was gonna go. Um, I think that'll be a bit of a nightmare if they do get rid of it, because your home screen will get cluttered up. Um, I quite like a, well, as you can see, I quite like a normal home screen, nothing too, nothing too drastic on it. Um, and this is really useful. I mean, if they do get rid of it, please leave an option to leave it switched on. Generally speaking, I'll put Nova Launcher on a brand new phone anyway, so it doesn't matter too much, but I still think a lot of purists will still want it, so please don't get rid of that. The whole thing feels rather fluid as well. I mean, switching through it, I know this is the Nexus device, but I've got plenty of apps installed on here, and um, I f it feels like the app animations are actually a bit quicker when loading things up. Um, 
I mean, for, for a beta release, this almost feels complete. There's a few crashes here and there and a, a bit of slowdown, but nothing you uh, nothing crazy. I mean, really nothing crazy. Absolutely fine, generally speaking, day to day. And like I say, it does feel a bit more fluid than Marshmallow. It feels kind of a bit more slippery in a good way. I mean, I, I feel like just glide across the screen and all that sort of stuff, which is really, really nice. Now it's probably worth saying um, it's a beta, so it's probably not worth installing on your main device like I have here. Um, if you've got a spare phone lying around and want to see it and, and it's a Nexus, then it's probably something worth looking at. But if, you, if it's your main driver, I'll probably change mine back after a couple, couple days, because just in case sort of thing. And that's about it. I mean, if you've enjoyed the video, then have a look at my other ones if you're into tech and all that sort of stuff. And I will see you in the next one, where I will try and get better at this game which I'm obviously terrible at. All right, goodbye.